Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, you like fragrance-related content like this, don't forget to show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Today we're talking about a new release from the House of Zorro. This is their probably fifth flanker. Can't believe they have this many. It's called a Zorro. Most Wanted Puff Farm Estate 2022 release video here. I'm gonna tell you about my performance, how I feel about the fragrance, and if Miss Kelly likes it, at the end. This fragrance, you can pick it up in two main sizes. This is a 50 ml, which is gonna run you $85. And they do have 100 ml, it's gonna run you about 105. Macy's currently running a 15% off promotion. So you can get this for around $72 for a 50 ml. And 100 ml, you can get about 89, 90 bucks plus tax. Leave the Macy's website down below so you can go there, add to your cart, and be at ease. Let's go over the presentation. So this bottle here is really nice. I do enjoy this black and uh, like the really dark kind of orangey dark juice. I, I really do enjoy the presentation with this one. Very beautiful in person, so definitely check it out in your local Macy's or department stores. The box is minimalistic. It's kind of black and charcoal dark with kind of like this dark goldish plate, which is nice with the gun revolver and most wanted parfum. And the batch code I have here is A-B-U-D-1-E-H. Let's talk about the note breakdown. So we have notes of red ginger. We have woody accord notes and we have bourbon vanilla let's spray this fragrance to tell you what i get okay so this fragrance opens up very fresh you definitely get a freshness with the red ginger which i looked up what does red ginger actually mean or smells like and definition i got was a fresh uh, zesty lemon opening so you do get a freshness in this fragrance but it's very sweet with that ginger because it gives it a fresh slash sweetness in the opening which is very nice, very different, but you kind of get a similarity to the Zorro Flanker line. If you think of a Zorro Most Wanted Auto Parfum, the all black bottle, which I did a video with Steven from Red Lessons. I'll leave that video down below. Definitely check it out. That video there we talk about as well, and there's a freshness about that fragrance, but that fragrance has cardamom and it has a coffee note. I don't get that coffee vibe in this one or the cardamom, but I get a nice fresh airiness in the fragrance, same as this one is with the other flanker that came out before this. The middle of the fragrance is where this fragrance shines at. So after, I would say 25, 30 minutes of the opening, you do get this spicy woodiness in the fragrance. God, it smells amazing, guys. Like, it sold me on the mid and the dry on this fragrance here because that bourbon vanilla, that, that sweetness feel, it's like, reminds you of like a, a boozy type of feel in a fragrance and it's, it smells so good. You wanna keep smelling your wrist like this when you get to the heart and the dry down. I kept going back and back. Like two or three sprays for my first impression video, I'll leave that video down below as well, where I smelled at the store and I was like, wow, this is good. And like a week later, I went back and bought me a bottle. It smells that great, guys. You really need to get it on your skin because skin will do it more justice than a lousy test strip. Just keep that in mind. Let's talk about the performance. So before the video starts, every video I'm gonna tell you, I want you going off of my skin. I wore the fragrance four days, so I'm going off of my skin chemistry. So if you get more than me, that's awesome. If you get less than me, I do apologize. Always the skin chemistry. It's the thing that, you know, it's crazy, right? We all go through this with fragrances. It's just a fragrance at the end of the day. Projection. So for me, I'm getting about a nice two hours of projection. It goes about an arm's length, which is nice. So people can detect the fragrance and smell it off you. Whether they give you a comment or not, depends on the scenario, situations, how you look, how you dress, but they will smell this fragrance off of your skin or in the air. Longevity. Easy eight to 10 hours on my skin. I have no complaints. It'll get you through a work day, hopefully eight hours. You might get more, but I can detect up to 10 hours. And I work 12 hour shifts, but I like the 10 hour mark. It's very, very close to the skin, but let's just say eight hours, you're gonna get through a work day. Not saying you should wear it through work, but I'm just saying eight hours, you're good to go. Season occasion. So for me personally, I feel like this could be a three month fragrance. I feel like you can wear it in early spring, fall and winter. Summer might be pushing it depending on how hot your summer and your climate environment is. But I did wear this fragrance when it was about 80 degrees and nobody said anything negative to me. So I guess it's okay to wear in the warmer months, but it might be too much with the bourbon and vanilla, the creaminess to wear it in the summertime, but definitely wear it, see how it works on your skin, see how it performs. It might be too loud, might be too soft. Occasion, so for me personally, this is a great sexy date night fragrance. Um, a great cuddling fragrance, a great club banger fragrance, a great going to the ball, a friend's type of fragrance. Only time I could see not wearing this fragrance, I would say maybe to office. 
It might be too strong for an office scent to wear or the vanilla, the bouginess. They might think you might have had a few too many drinks before work or on your break. I just don't think work, this is work appropriate. I mean, I wear, I work at a warehouse, not really a big deal, but if you work in a corporate environment, suit and tie, cubicle, hospital, law enforcement, this is a no-go. I wouldn't get this fragrance at all. Comment factor. I don't touch on it too much in videos because comments are sometimes happen, they don't. I feel like it's like a fantasy time thing. You think you're gonna get them, you may, you may not. I don't think so. I got two comments wearing this fragrance. My girlfriend, Kelly, or I'm sorry, my fiance, Kelly, now, she smelled this fragrance on me. I wore it um, to Easter with her family and she enjoyed this one off my skin. And then I met up with her brother-in-law, Rob, shout out to Rob. He smelled his fragrance off, he gave me a hug. He's like, wow, you smell great, man, I like that one. So I told him it was a Zara line, I showed him the bottle. He said, the bottle looks awesome, dude. He's not wearing the fragrances, but he's starting to like fragrances. Nevertheless, I got two comments wearing his fragrance. So is it gonna be a comment get a fragrance? I feel like it has potential, but it, don't buy this fragrance off of comments. Please don't, because if you don't like the fragrance, don't wear the fragrance, just get comments. I think that's the stupidest thing in the world to do. But by all means, everybody's different. Everybody has their own opinion. So just be careful when you buy a fragrance. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. And you're gonna say, well, Chris, why are you gonna give it a 10 out of 10? It smells that great. And I don't really give out 10 out of 10 in never my videos, except for maybe Viking and I would say maybe Dior Sauvage. I don't give 10 out of 10. I keep going back wearing this fragrance. I wore it four days in a row. Now, when I do my reviews, I don't tell people, but I do about three days I wear a fragrance and I'm ready to review it. I wear fragrance four days in a row. That's very uncommon for a fragrance viewer to wear a fragrance four days in a row. By three days, I know how the fragrance performs, if I like it, if Miss Kelly likes it, if it's worth buying or whatever. I love this fragrance, I enjoy wearing it. This is by far be my first backup bottle I'll be buying, whether it's another 50 ml like this or 100 ml, whatever's available at Macy's um, during the sale this coming up week. I'm buying a backup bottle to have my collection so they ever discontinue it or get rid of it. It smells that great, guys. You should definitely check it out. At the end of the day, you're gonna say, Chris, if I have the other flankers, is it worth it? I'm gonna say you should definitely go to Macy's and spread it on your skin or get a decan. I'll leave websites down below where you can buy samples as well and try them out. This is not a sponsored video by the, the sample companies. This is where I buy my own samples for fragrances, so definitely buy them, 100% legit. This fragrance smells that great. Try it on your skin. The mid and dry down shines so much. I enjoy wearing it that much that I'm like, this would be a signature scent for me if it wasn't a reviewer. Hands down. It smells that great. Performance is great. I love going back and forth, smell my wrist. It's been a while since I had a fragrance. I go like this and keep smelling. It's been like, oh my God, it smells that great. I'm happy. Well, last time I smelled like, I felt like that was Dior Sauvage and I think Creed Viking, if I'm correct. Nevertheless, Definitely check this fragrance out, guys. I think you guys are gonna really like it. And like I said before, if you have the flankers, it might be redundant, because the opening kind of has similarities to the Eau de Parfum. But if you're a Zorro fanboy of the line Most Wanted, just buy it, you're gonna enjoy the fragrance. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. If you're new, like the video and click the bell icon so you won't miss future videos on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe, everyone, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.